Come back, I'm Gertie Rude, back again in a mood. Well, I thought I'd bring you some highlights from the inquiry because they seem to be talking my language up there. Because usually I don't have a, I don't have a clue what they're on about. But for some obscure reason, I've actually managed to work it out. Yes, I can translate it, YouTube viewers. Here, should we skip in together and just, just listen? Oh, it's all going on up there, it is. Oh, it's very intellectual. It's very professional, and all them words. Oh, it is authentic, classy, you know, them ones. So let's go. Come on, what's been happening? Tell me. You call ministers yes. useless f pigs. Oh! Morons. Yes. Oh! Did he know my mother? Any emails and WhatsApps yes. to your professional colleagues. Right. Do you think you contributed to a lack of effectiveness on the part of ministers? Uh, I'll answer that for you. Uh, basically... He's a psychopath. So you see, going around calling people fuck pigs, and I won't say the word, but to see when, see you next Tuesday or Thursday, either, either. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm still not really buying anything this pleb's got to say because he can't use an iron. And any person that can't iron their own clothes that they have to put on their own bodies, really, I don't need to hear anything from. There is no words of hallucinations that you can possibly illuminate me with. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, but we're going to hear him anyway, aren't we? Yes, he's calling everybody fat pigs. <laughs> yes, morons. Oh, dear. He was probably reading our minds because I think, you know, there wasn't a home in the country that wasn't screaming that at the telly every bleed day during the lockdown bleed hooey. Come on. Let's hear it. No, I think I was reflecting a widespread view uh, amongst uh, competent people at the centre of power at the time about the colour bubble. Competent. Right, I'm going to have to stop you there. I'm going to have to rewind you somewhat, Mr. Plain Cummings and Goings. Competent. Now, I totally agree that every last Wazak up in Downing Street, that is that they should just call it Wazak Street, shouldn't they, really? Because it's where the Wazaks all seem to hibernate to and hang out in thereof, hereunto, whatever, herewith. Don't they? The whole load of them. Bleed load of tomfoolery going on up there. Ah, oh, walking down the street with a bleed mask on. Oh, yes, yeah. smile for the cameras. As soon as I open the door, he's only got his bleed foot on the footsteps before he's ripping off the bleed mask, grinning from ear to ear, like the insane bleed poodle that he was. And I'm talking about bleed Hancock. Of course he was grinning. He was getting in there to feel up his bleed latest fancy piece, wasn't he? Oh, and this man. Oh, well, amongst the competent people, when you say competent, dear... Does that mean competent by way of testing your eyesight on the M5? Is it that sort of competence? Oh, spec savers, I couldn't get me. And my eyes were a bit foggy, so I drove with my wife and my kids all down the M5. I did. I did. But I was only testing my eyes. I was. I was. I'm very competent, you know. Yes, I am. I'm competent. You're a competent, bleed idiot. A useless tool. That's what you are. Go on, man. Hurry up. We have a lot of senior people who are dealing with this crisis extremely badly. Crisis? Slow down. Please, Mr. Cummings. Well, I mean, you know, he's going to go, <laughs> he's going to tell you a lot of stuff that you're not really interested in knowing, are you? And he's going to, you know, fluff up the edges and talk round the bleeding point, isn't he, and the subject and throw in this, that and the other rather than get down and actually admit that he's a bleeding pleb. That's what he is. And the thing about that government is they literally just got in on 9th or 12th of December 2019. I can't think, don't care, can't remember, don't want to remember. Yeah. And they walked it on the Brexit tab uh, thing. And they, oh, I'll give you Brexit, I'll give you Brexit. I've never heard so much hooey. And the side of the lemmings go this way and then they go that way, don't they? And I'll tell you another thing and I don't care who knows it. That bloody Jacob rees -Mogg, he's coming out. He's a man for all bleeding seasons, that one is, isn't he? He stands on the bleeding... Well, he stands right on the margin, doesn't he? He doesn't go up, go up to it or go over it. He stands bloody there on top of it, doesn't he? Neither one side nor t'other. But either side he's on, it's always his own, isn't it? Because I do remember, let me think, mm, I remember seeing him at the, on the footage of the parties, the many rave parties that they had during lockdown at Downing Street, you know, we were all hiding under our beds in case we got a cold. Do you remember that one? Can you remember it? I don't really, yeah, you know. I just about remember my husband and he died due to all this nonsense. Uh, yeah, sort of vague thought, yeah. He's there somewhere in the back of my mind. But anyway, yes, so there you go. Jacob Rees Smog. Oh, he's all on the, he's a man for the people now. Oh, yeah, he wants all the inquiry. He does. Yes, he does. Yeah, he wants us all to forget that he was on the bleeding footage laughing at us. And he was laughing. I can't remember the details, but I remember thinking you're a mug, mate. Yes, little Lord Fauntleroy, isn't he? Jacob Reese mug Oh, go on, man. I'm your shirt. I'm suggesting that your views... No credibility. 
revolting ways. Yes. Was shared by others? Well, yes, it was shared by the whole country, but it also included you, my dear. Oh, dearie me. I mean, they're all toffee nose snobs, aren't they? I mean, look at me, I'm up here, you know, but at least I can, guess what? I can actually iron my shirt. Well, probably I'm so rich, I just get them laundered and they deliver them. Yes, yeah, probably Filipinos working through the night, you know. But Dominic, yeah, he can't, he just cannot. Oh, he just cannot iron a shirt or wear a shirt. The, 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 my appalling language is obviously my own. Yes. Uh, my judgment of a lot of senior people was widespread. Yes. What are poppins? And, your, and your, your judgment is so needed, Dominic, you know, everybody's riveted. We're all sat here thinking, oh, Dom, dear Dom, tell us what's gone on, Dom. Bling jerk. Those are, uh, what was... What, Puppets! What was oh, we've got a little uh, acronyms. <laughs> yes, God help ourselves. Some element of the system. Uh, yes! The Did they call him a poppy with the people coming in behind your back? As soon as you went home, they go in and make Boris change his mind. And when you say people, who you mean is Carrie, don't you? Do you remember when everyone called her Carrie and Antoinette because most of the general public had a handle on what was going on, even though you were all trying to hide it? I do remember at that time as well, there was some, yes, data, data, lots of data, statistics and data, yeah, came out about the use of the old uh, cha-cha going on around the Houses of Parliament, or was it the Westminster Estate, as they euphemistically call it? Yes, they've been in, done the toilet tops, haven't they? Don't talk to me about toilet tops, because I'm a bit of a bleeding expert, and I know the coup on everything here, yeah, I talk to all the cleaners, I know all about it. Anyway, yes, they did. And they were putting the strips down and no sooner they go away, come back 10 minutes later, covered in shit again, wasn't it? Yes. So there's the problem right away. There is the problem right away. And you're advocating for all these prisons full of people that do this, and do that, and do the other. And we've got really down at heel, putting mediocre lives up against you lot. And you're all off your bleeding barnets up there. Yes. Oh, and that's fine. Well, Carrie Antoinette didn't like you. You didn't like her. You were just well gelled because she used to lie down at the end of the day with the Prime Minister and nibble in his ear. And the whisper sweet nothings. Well, basically, she used to lay the law down to him, didn't she? Was she in charge of his office in between getting up the duff and sprogging? Yeah. Go on. Would not like to be agreed. Mm. And in the best Sir Humphrey uh, Yes Minister style, yes. Um, they would wait for uh, me and other people to not be around the Prime Minister and they would pop in to see the Prime Minister and say, dear Prime Minister, I think that this decision really wasn't the best idea. Very brave Prime Minister. Idiot. You're just an idiot. Highfalutin, pretentious, inarticulate wazzock. Right. And Listen to him anymore. Communications used and other officials, no doubt. Majesty to pretty much everyone called him the trolley, yeah. Yeah, trolley, called him a trolley. They should have called Antoinette that, shouldn't they? Hey, eh? Carrie Antoinette. <laughs> yeah, I bet they had a few names for that old bike and all, didn't they? Bless her. Oh, oh, I do remember during the lockdown, she sprogged out a baby. I think it was in between sprogging out one and getting up the duff for the other one. You know, when they were telling everybody to, uh, have sex back to back and wear a mask. Do you remember that during the lockdown? Because I used to just die laughing. Uh, and if you go in the shower, wear a mask. Do you remember all that? And that thing was always getting herself up the lean duff. I, I don't know how that happened. I mean, did they wear masks? They should have worn bleeding something. Anyway, she was in charge of his office, wasn't she? Yes, she was. She was always in charge of his office. She was in charge of everybody. And moreover, she was in charge of him bleed the complete inertia of that bulk of useless bleed meat i do not know and everybody said oh he's got such a great personality i'll tell you another thing as well he does actually he does descend from aristocracy so he's got there because of that and he not what you know so you know who you descend from and who you pertain to what school you went to who is your alma mater my dear and these bleeding people come up from nothing and they're well, this man is just a psycho they're all divs hancock gove all of them Morons, come on. Change direction. It's a you show trial. That Mr Hancock... Mr Handjob. ...is unfit for this job. The incompetence, the constant lies, the obsession with the media... <laughs> ...over doing his job. Still... Well, you see, this is it. Because you can see, just by looking at his eyes, that he's a raging narcissist. It's probably sort of malignant, grandiose. It's probably more grandiose, actually, with him, isn't he? Yes, I'm, uh, I am. I'm diagnosing him, you know. Rather in the way that he liked to diagnose all the old people and leave them to their fate along with bleeding Doris. 
oh, well, they're going to die anyway, was what Doris is actually uh, being recorded as having said on more than one occasion, yeah? Forgetting that he's only about 10 years younger than the people that were dying, the moron. I don't know who he thinks he is. Useless bleeding lump of lard. Oh, well, there you go. Come on. And these people at the back. It reminds me a bit Nuremberg-ish, doesn't it, really? You know, all these people at the back trying to not fall asleep, trying to look very sincere and engaged in the whole proceedings. Just a show trials. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. I'll tell you what, they'd do exactly the same again if they could, because it weren't about that. They knew. They were quite happy. They had a little bit of power. They walked into Parliament. They knew that whatever they did, they could get away with it, because their majority in Parliament was so massive. And obviously he was going to be seen akin to Churchill. But Churchill actually led the country fighting real people, not an imaginary bogeyman. I mean, it was Boris, the absolute melt, deployed the army onto the abandoned streets of London with their guns. I mean, what are they going to do? Shoot a bleeding germ? Bleeding fanny. Come on. No f***ing serious testing in care homes. His uselessness is yeah. killing God knows how many. This morning, you are your... And you see, another thing you see, straight away, the old people were so expendable. The children, like I've said to you before, on the at-risk register, how many of them were killed? I mean, it's got to be five or six that have been in the public domain. There's probably a lot more that we don't know of or that were seriously abused during that time. Uh, yeah, it didn't matter. They don't vote. Old people don't vote. Uh, by the time you're old, you're pretty wise to both of those bleeding lot, aren't you, really? It doesn't matter. It's socialists or Tories, or whatever. You're pretty wise to it by then. And you're not really putting anything into society. I think it was the 100-year-old, uh, what's his name, Kissinger, who called us useless eaters. Oh, no, that wasn't. That's a little German chap over in uh, the 40s in Germany, wasn't it? Yeah, or uh, was it Goring, Goebbels? Go Goebbels? Goering? Oh, dear, one of them. Anyway, useless eaters, people that aren't putting anything into society. And you can always tell the calibre of a society by the way it treats its elderly. It's infirm and it's young. Tick, tick, tick. The next time you go into a voting box to put a tick, just remember they put a tick against all our bleeding folk, our old people, our mums, our dads, our aunties, our uncles. I'm not mine, she died 20 odd years ago. But so many people, I know so many people that needlessly lost. And it wasn't necessarily due to the coof. It was due to other bleeding things. I know somebody that was ill... And all their life, they paid in not only to the national health in a big way, they had private, uh, private, what's it, healthcare. And they wouldn't, they wouldn't touch him because of the coof. Yes, uh, he died. He died. Didn't get any help. Died. Didn't care. Fuck it. And he was actually providing a lot of jobs for the community. He was a big, he was a big employer, you know. So it isn't just, oh, well, they used to see it as them in care homes. He gives a shit. There was a lot more people than that died and it wasn't necessary as i keep saying of the coof it was their ineptitude all of them all of them that bleeding kerry antoinette oh yeah we're gonna get married it's locked down oh what i'm gonna do because i'm very important everyone oh it was looking at me look at me look at me i'm marvelicious i am i am oh i can't understand why kate's dress designer won't design me a, a, a dress well because you yeah, look at kate and look at you to start with uh so in that in that vein she didn't want the tabloids to get hold of the fact that she was getting married. They didn't care. Do you get me? So she went and got two dresses made so she could whip up all the all the storm. With the, Is she going to wear this one? Is she going to wear that one? Bleeding old horse rack. Bleeding clothes horse. Oh, my God. Literally nobody cared. You're just the wife of the Prime Minister. I know you inveigled your way into actually running his office, which is basically running him as well, isn't it? And doing everything else for him. So we won't go there. They're then catching the uh, primaria, primaria, premier ship. Yes, it's a permitazoa. Yes, and all that. No one cares. Literally, it's egos. You get rid of your bleeding egos and get your nose to the grindstone and do the bleeding job. That's all we want. Get paid enough. Melts. Come on. You're addressing this to Mr Johnson? Yes. Must ask him... When we will get to 500,000... I must admit, he did have Ancott's number, didn't he? <laughs> where is your plan for testing all care and workers weekly? Yes. If you could go, please, the bottom of... Were you actually... Did you have shares in the testing company that was creating the testing kits, Em? Um, because any time that any of you come out with anything like that, it just makes me think, what are you making out of it? What interests are poking you in the... Uh, bum. Back, elbow, whatever. Hey, I just don't trust any of them. And him... <sighs> Sat there like a snake. 
He's lower than a snake's belly. And, well, the inertia of our prime sinister was only equaled by that meddling, bleeding viper of a wife of his. And I'm not saying any more than that because I get into trouble. Because it did come out. Oh, he had to he let it be known in all the papers that he doesn't like, or she doesn't like, people calling her Carrie Antoinette. Yes, it's upsetting her feel feels. She don't like all the backlash. So she should have thought of that before she started an internecine warfare with that bleeding crazy. You're all as bad as one another. A luckless lot, you know. <laughs> Ill-bred, <laughs> ill-kept and ill-educated. And with that, I'm going to ill-off. Bye-bye now.